Hello and welcome to Newsmakers on CHCH Podcast. I'm your host, Louis Butko, and today I'm very pleased to be joined by Rick Campanelli. A born and raised Hamiltonian, Rick Campanelli is one of Canada's most recognizable TV personalities, having spent nearly three decades on screens across the country, starting in 1994 at Much Music after winning the Temp Contest. After 10 years at Much, he moved to Entertainment Tonight Canada, where he co-hosted the show for 12 years, interviewing some of the biggest celebrities in the world. A busy father of three, Rick has also been involved in several charitable organizations, including World Vision Canada and right here at McMaster Children's Hospital, but he's bringing his talents to CHC to host the countdown on New Year's Eve 2024. How are you, Matt? I'm, I'm doing so, I'm great. I'm seeing all the footage that you collected there. I totally forgot about some Tom of those Cruise, magical moments. Tom Cruise, The Rock. Man. I, you've uh, you've had quite the, the career. One? Yeah. And even... his family on the red carpet there. <laughs> the That's... great one. Wow. I've interviewed the great one, too. So yes. don't, don't yeah. toot your horn too <laughs> no, much there, no, no, no. Rick the Temp. Uh, <laughs> thank you for doing this. I was My telling you, it, it really is an honor for oh. me to get to talk to you. I grew up on Much Music, um, Much On Demand, that, yes, that sir, early oh. 2000s era. I know. Oh, you were there before that, the but heyday. that the early heyday. 2000, much on demand, like the 299 Queen Street West. We're going to get into that because you just came off yeah. a whirlwind tour that took you across Canada and connected you with so many people who so grew true. up watching you. We're going to get into so that, true. but let's talk about this countdown show. Yes, sir. What let's does do it, it mean to you, uh, Rick Campanelli, born and raised Hamiltonian, to finally, you finally, finally get to be on right? CHCH. <laughs> finally get to be on <laughs> CHCH. I'm super pumped. Yeah. Are you kidding? Growing up as a kid, watching CH daily with my parents, um, being a part of that fabric uh, in the community, CH is the community so to be able to host a new year's eve show for ch like like pinch me continue to pinch me because i still can't believe it i'm super honored and what a privilege it is and um we're gonna ring in the new year with some rock bands and some r&b artists and some comedians and uh and and i'll be there (laughs) Uh, you'll get to see me here and there as well but but there is a lot a lot that we have uh uh, planned for the new year's eve show which starts at 11 10 p.m yes so we will get you your headline news (laughs) at 11 o'clock which you've come to expect here on chch oh yeah oh yeah we're going to get you your headlines, but 11, 10, and you're going to go well into the, the new we year. Are. You're taking it till 1245. We're taking so. it right up until almost 1 a.m. Um, and then uh, and then then time for bed. Yeah. Okay? Because we're all going to be tired at that point. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned <laughs> some of the, the, the you got Moel coming in. Yes. Uh, but July Talk, what a, what a huge get. I mean, this is a, if you're a Canadian rock fan, you know who July Talk is. I met July Talk a couple times. I used to do a little radio show morning uh, on the edge uh, for a few months there. <laughs> <laughs> While doing ET Canada as well, and July talk came in a couple of times. They're such great people, uh, Peter and Leah. So uh, I'm I'm honored to be introducing them live and, and seeing them perform live. And then also U.S. Girls will be he- here as well. Uh, never met U.S. Girls, uh, Megan Remy, but uh, I'm looking forward to meeting her and her band and her doing her thing and them <laughs> doing their thing. Uh, and then as you said, Moel, who's Ethiopian Canadian background, um, does a little um, a acoustic slash R&B, such a cool sound. And then we can't forget the laughs, mm. the comedic <laughs> relief brought to us by Alistair Ogden, uh, who's Canadian as well. He's, he's, a, he's an up and comer. Uh, we saw Russell Peters on your screen <laughs> earlier, but uh, who knows? Yeah. Alistair's on his way. He's, he's the, uh, the latest in Canadian comedy, originally from Vancouver, now living in the area in, in Toronto. It won the uh, CBC Next Up competition yeah. in 2019. It's got over 5 million views across YouTube and TikTok. So you're keeping it light, you know, you're getting the comedy in there. We are keeping it so light. We're going to have a bartender on hand making drinks all night for all of us and the uh, in-studio audience as well. Okay. Uh, So the the, the drink, the signature drink, I don't know if you have that. I don't. I don't. I I heard you're working on it. Mayan Berry Mojito. Hmm. Okay. So I actually, I think I saw somebody. (laughs) I think there's the test kitchen has been working on that for a while. They're developing. It's uh, it's in the process. Recipes. And that's what they've come up with. You mentioned, we've mentioned CHCH institution. Some people may use that word to refer to yourself. Oh, no, please don't. <laughs> that puts way too much pressure on you. Okay, you've been in the business 30 years. Like, when you take a step back and, and you look at that. And it's think, not like, 30 years yet. Next summer. Okay, okay. As of, okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm rounding up here, Rick. Uh, <laughs> to be, to, to, but to, to what you've done, to Entertainment Tonight Canada, and, you know, obviously 
our thoughts go out to the people who are working on that show just in the last few months. I can't um, believe that it's gone. I know, yeah. but especially for having launched that, you know, 10 years at much, you are an institution on Canadian television. Or, or my bad luck, because the places <laughs> that I've worked at are now no longer with us. Much Music, ET Canada, my bad luck. So are you whoa, sure whoa, whoa, you want, on, are you sure you want to hire me for, for New Year's? Oh, okay, <laughs> no. well, let's talk to management, because there might be something to this here. I am uh, the cooler. <laughs> I am I am known as the temp That's and the, 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 the cooler. <laughs> Uh, but what, is, what does it mean to, to still get to do what you do for what as long a, as you've been doing it? What an absolute honor. It really is. It's like, um, seriously, when I, when I got let go back in 2017 from ET Canada, my world was shattered because that's all I knew. Leaving university at Brock, studying for four years, thinking I was going to be going into a totally different career path, teaching the education system and then winning a contest and being put on television, a nationwide television um, in the mid-90s, and then getting it all pulled out from under me in 2017. That was it. I thought, oh my goodness, I love doing this so much. Uh, can I do it for free? Hmm. Will you keep me on? I'll just do it for free. I love it so much. So so I, I really missed it, and I still do miss the going in every day to the environment or the, to the studio and engaging with people. And, you know, we're in the world of communications, and, and, and that's... That's the basis of what I'm all about, yeah. you know, interacting and communicating and chatting and socializing. So, um, yeah, I really missed it when it all came to an end. But, but to have it last, on the other hand, to have it last that long, it's like, wow, really? I'm so fortunate that, that it got to last that long. And, and, and look, I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You are, yeah. I'm I mean, still here. I, mean uh, I, I applied for the uh, countdown host job, and I didn't okay. get it. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't do it out. But you're still here. Yeah. Still here doing it. And, and I'm so blessed. And yeah. I'm so honored to be still doing it. And it's what I love to do. It's my passion. So um, You've seen this business through some volatility. Yeah, I have. Fair to say. Yes. Um, what kind of piece of advice would you have for that Brock kid who's watching well, this now? You really do have to remain true to yourself and be you. You know, you see so many people start something like this and they think they need to change as they go and not change for the better. But I think ego gets to some people and, and different traits start coming into play and, and they just start changing. And, mm. and, and I believe, and, and I, I know my family's listening, I, well, I hope they are, <laughs> and they, could t they can tell you, like, I'm just the same Rick um, when I was a kid, you know, to my teen years, just curious, just wanting to do as much as I can do. And I think to this day, I'm still that same. So, so just be true to yourself. Never change the way you are, what your passions are, what you're feeling inside for somebody else. There's going to be something for you out there. It may not be for this door over here, but maybe that door over there. How did you balance that ego versus, I mean, because you have to be humble, Right. And, and I, I'm yeah, saying this is yeah. somebody who is who's in this field. You know, I feel the the idea where when you're on camera and, you know, you, you try to be as genuine as possible. And that's that's what I feel. I feel when yeah. I'm on camera and when I'm talking yeah, to you, yeah. like we, we would you. have this conversation, yeah. whether we're in the canteen or whether these cameras are here or not. There's a canteen. <laughs> yeah, there is. OK. After. after. <laughs> uh, but there's always food there. Too. That's the that's the best thing about working in television. Dude, there's that. always food. There's always. Food. And I'm Italian. So this is right <laughs> up my alley. Uh, Oh, love okay. it. I was just at an Italian bakery yeah. yesterday. You Which might have one? seen the segments. I was on Morning Live. I went to Jack's Sweet Shop in Dundas. Oh, yeah. They had these baked goods. Yes, I, yes. I, I almost said better than my mom's, but I would have been disowned because <laughs> it was that bad. I can never to, go there. Never, never go that far. Never. I didn't say it on the air. I said I might have <laughs> might have said it, but I didn't say it on and the air. And she's not listening to her. No, no, of course right? not. No, no. no. I hope not. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. Sorry. Uh, back to the question. Balancing that ego versus that motivation. Because, like, this this is a tough job sometimes. Well, like, this you know is what? Tough. I don't think hosts even need to ha have ego. It's the people that we're interviewing <laughs> that we expect to have ego. Um, the rock stars, the actors... They're the insecure ones that need the praise, <laughs> and they have the egos. You know that it takes them to the level that they're at, and they're, that's cool. That's understandable. But as hosts, as what you do and what I do, we're there to get the best out of somebody, to give their audience and their listeners something that they may not have heard about them. So when it comes to us, ego should never even you know hmm. come into play. Yeah. You know, we're just the curious, inquisitive ones that are asking the questions. And I like. 
even when I pitch this show and when I try to get people on the show, like yeah. that's the number one thing. It's like I'm just asking questions. Yeah, like, we're just talking. The cameras happen to be here. Yeah, but like I'm not trying to get anything out of you. I'm not looking for a good clip. I'm not trying to get you with gotcha journalism. No, that's not no, what no it's that's doing. Not what we're but about. Yeah. that can mess with some younger people like for sure. getting into the business. Well, I think that's what people, um, that's what their goals are. Obviously, um, they set forth by just trying to get those golden nuggets out. Those golden nuggets will come out eventually if it's a good conversation. Yeah. They will. I, I think the, the genuine part is the part that I think, you know, if I could go back and, and tell like 20, you know, 10 year old Lou <laughs> who wants to get in this business. Yes. Yeah. Just be a more more genuine or as genuine as you possibly you can, because that's because another, that's gotten you to where you are. Well, right? another point too, Louis. Like people are going to see right through the fake. Hmm. They will if yeah. they know you, and you do get to make this connection. Especially, you know, Much Music was a live, twenty four seven show. Like they got to know you. They, we we were family. Like yeah. the viewers, the crew, people will see right through if you're trying to be somebody else. Yeah, and then they'll switch the channel hmm. uh, let's talk about 299 queen street west oh man uh the new documentary is about to hit crave yep. uh before that it has been on this cross canada tour yep. uh, what has that been like for you to s revisit that after yep. all these years to to see the support of of just what much music meant to so many people across the country these last few months it's been so special it really has like it's 2023 and sean menard you know was developing this movie. He was working on this movie for a number of years because it's a lot of work. This is a big project. This is massive. You know, looking at all the the film or tape or whatever he was, whatever we <laughs> call it. I'm sure there was some film there Wasn't, somewhere, right? No, nothing was digital. Let's just get that <laughs> straight. Um, it was it was all stuff that he had to go back in the, the archival footage of yeah. like beta cam tapes. Uh, and he went through, I think the number, it kept going up as we went across the country, but I think like... 10,000 clips. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. His wife was helping out a great deal as well. <laughs> but then he narrowed it down to 200 clips that made the final cut for yeah. 299 Queen Street West. So to be able to relive it all, going across the country, just first of all, seeing it on the big screen was super special. And then getting to relive it all with, with the, the, the people that grew up. As a young Canadian, you know you knew what much music was. You grew up watching. It was a staple. Um, so to, to get to meet the people that actually made much music after after the Q&A was the meet and greet. So we'd be in the theaters for hours huh. just hanging out with people, talking about the good old days, talking about the stories that they remember. And uh, it was great times. It's sad that it all came to an end. Yeah. Um, we did, what, 15, 14 or 15 shows across the country. But then back in March, we started um, the whole tour off uh, at South by Southwest in, in Austin, yeah. Texas, which was really fun to bring it to the American fans or viewers of much music because much music was in the households in the u.s for a time there which was awesome yeah. uh but anyway just to get to get to relive it all yeah. like it's i left there 18 years ago so that's a long time you know i may have started 30 years ago but i left 18 <laughs> which is a long time ago so it just brought all brought all these memories these magical special uh warm fuzzy feels back what happened to video YouTube. Music video, YouTube. YouTube happened. YouTube killed the YouTube. VJs. Video guy. killed the radio star. <laughs> YouTube killed the VJs and the music video yeah, stars. Yeah, I, like or much, much on demand. Much on yeah. demand was like every day. For, like I is a staple, right? When you went, yeah. like when you went to the big, so like you know, St. Catharines, Fawn Hill kid, going to the big city, and you'd go to try. Oh my God, that's where you, they you go do. to Queen and John, and you go to yeah. Queen and John. They're doing the show right now. You're looking in the and you're in. Pop you're not just watching. We're show. bringing you in to be part of the show. It, it really was a like this once in a lifetime thing that I don't think could be recreated like oh my gosh like, no even like the celebrities that that you'd sneak into the building and then all of a sudden they'd be yeah. there <laughs> and if you had told them and if it for somehow because that was the best when it yeah. leaked out that yes. somebody was gonna be at much music and you basically had to shut down queen and john queen right? and john oh yeah I, had I don't think the city liked it too much when we <laughs> did those yeah i don't know yeah sure we shut them both down like for the mmvas yeah. or yeah. like huge but but the, i think the city would only let us shut down either queen okay or john <laughs> You you pick you know you want in sync on on Queen or you don't want them on John you want Spice Girls over here on Queen I mean but it, was... It, it was amazing and those are just like the pop bands that I'm mentioning like we had all genres hip hop and, and and rock and rap and punk and 
yeah. alternative and gr- we, we had every artist because yeah. we played every artist and that's what the viewers wanted. The countdown on Fridays, yeah, on like Fridays, much yeah. more music too. Oh, that was, that, I mean, those are so like, many, so many great times. Yeah. Uh, speaking yeah. of great times, uh, little birdie told me, uh, you were a regular at a uh, little establishment called front 54. In, uh, <laughs> I was. In the world. Uh, I was. Was that, uh, was that your go-to? Was that your I think it was or? Wednesday nights was the night. I moose think. Moose and goose now is I think what they call it's it. It's the moose and goose, goose. now. Yeah. Okay. Paul D. DeVitas way uh, in Thorold. Same or, owners. Same the owners. Yeah. Oh, the D. DeVitas the are, are still uh, a staple in St. Catharines. We had some good times at Front 54. <laughs> front 54. Any other like, uh, any other haunts? Uh, big Bucks well, maybe? The chili Pepper. Chili Pepper. Chili yeah. Pepper it's right not downtown. there anymore. It's not yeah, there anymore. It's not there anymore. Oh. Yeah. Big Bucks. Big Bucks. Up Mansion here. House. Mansion House. Oh, such great spot. Because obviously you spent four years in St. Catharines. If I remember them all, I wasn't having a good night. But sometimes we would have got, you know, stuck yeah. into other places. But uh, yeah, but Front 54 was, the, I think, the go-to for my buddies and I. Yeah. Uh, between, I'm not even going to go, well, let's go back. Sure, go From for it. From 90 to 94 is the four <laughs> years I spent in the, yeah. the beautiful Garden City. Hey, I, I still call the beautiful Garden City home. And I know uh, Mayor Matt Sisko was on the show earlier this week okay. on Morning Live anyway. Yeah. So uh, he'll appreciate the shout out as well. Um, what does it mean to still be a part of the Hamilton community as you are? Like I said, to be a part of the show, but yeah. getting well, able to give back at McMaster Children's Hospital. Sure. You you and your wife, Angie, do so much. You guys were donating to the toy drive just a, a few short weeks ago. We here, yeah, you yeah. well, you know what? Uh, we, we, we'll we give back until we can't give back <laughs> anymore. You know, everyone needs assistance. We needed it gro- growing up. Like, everyone goes through tough times, hardships, obstacles, and... Um, what better way to help out you give back, you know, um, especially for kids? Because I can't tell you the, the, the countless amount of hours I spent at McMaster Hospital as a kid yeah. <laughs> with either a broken bone or <laughs> I needed stitches or I, I, I fell playing soccer or whatever it was. But that was our go-to hospital. I may have been born at St. Joe's, but I went to school at St. Mary's on the McMac- McMaster campus, and that hospital was always there for us. So... It's it's the least we can do, and and, and moving back home clo- or closer to home, we're in Aldershot now, but being born and raised in Hamilton, you know, spending 20 years in in Toronto, but being able to come back yeah. to the city, you know, you never forget your roots or where you come from. I know Hamilton's such a good town. I know most people from Aldershot will jump at me when I say this, but you're basically still Hamilton. I'm basically, right? I mean, it's the border. It's Dundas <laughs> and Hamilton. Burlington, for Hamilton, whatever yeah. reason, Aldershot's got this own little cut Aldershot's out there. Aldershot's got it's, it's our, our own little thing. Listen, yeah. and I'm not saying Aldershot, do not come <laughs> after me. I know you're not Hamilton. You are Burlington yeah, yeah. and Aldershot. I right get that. Right, right on, on the border. Right on the border. Yeah. Right on the border. Um, I owe you an apology. Oh, Because well. when you and Angie were here uh, last week, I was coming in through the back door. Yeah. And I went to go wave yeah. to the receptionist who was coming in at the same time okay. as you. Yeah. You thought I was waving to you. Oh, okay. So you waved I and I didn't, I turned around awkwardly and was just like, When oh. I see a wave, I wave back. Yeah. I, I, I was like, I think, because I turned good. around and I talked to like our, our assignment editor and I'm yeah, like, I'm but... pretty sure I was just a jerk to Rick Campanelli. <laughs> no. <laughs> and well, like, we why, what happened? I'm like, well, because I think he thought I was waving to him. How but I far was, apart uh, were we? Like, you were like, you and me? Yeah. We're probably about 10 feet. I wasn't wearing my glasses. Okay. okay. So I was like waving just past you. Okay. Okay. But you thought I was waving at you. See, so I I'm wasn't sorry. wearing my glasses. See? See? That's that age it. now. I know. I have to. I need them just to read the prompter. <laughs> so that's where I'm It's I all at. good, man. Um, no offense taken, Louis. New Year's Eve. What time are you on the air again? 11.10. 11.10. I'll be here at 11.05. Okay. Getting perfect. ready. As, as we tend to do here on TV. <laughs> we only show up five minutes before. We no. only show up five no, minutes. No, it's going to be a fun time, though. I'm yeah. really, really pumped to do live TV again. And it's what I did back in the day. Not as much of it on ET Canada, but much music was all about the live. So mm-hmm. to be able to do a live TV again and to do it with uh, some rock bands, some comedians, and uh, and a live in studio audience, it's gonna be tons of fun. In studio, because you're not new to New Year's Eve. You've uh, done some shows, Nathan Phillips Square, outdoors, Victoria Park, and uh, yeah, we froze <laughs> our butts off uh, doing the outdoor yeah. New Year's Eve mm-hmm. shows. But um, we're just going what to the North Studio, just North behind Studio. Us over here. There you go. Don't and tell a, people. I just don't. don't, t- don't give away the secret. The magic. It's the secrets. Huge. Yeah, but it is gorgeous. <laughs> it's, I just walked in for the first time earlier, and uh, that's where we'll be. All right. Well, I know uh, the invitation for staff is going around very shortly, so I got my like email yeah, alerts yeah. ready to go. So I'm hoping to it's join It's the you big there. ticket for the I, night. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard. It's it gets sold out real quick. Uh, and right. those mojitos. Yeah. 
<laughs> Each audience member will get one. We're going to see if the test kitchen in the canteen, see what's going on. I hear it's an open bar. I don't know. What? That's why I signed up. Okay. Rick Campanelli. Uh, really opening up here. Thank you for doing this. I my really pleasure, appreciate Louis. it. My pleasure. Rick Good Campanelli, job. my thanks to him for joining me. And my thanks to you as well, because we could not do the show without you. So make sure you like and subscribe to CHCH Podcast so you never miss an episode of this show or any of the other great shows for you that we have for you, including the Trending Now podcast. Brand new episode of that dropped on Friday. So go to chch.com slash podcast. Or if you're watching, you can just scan that QR code on your screen right there and subscribe today. From all of us here at CHCH, I'm Louis Bucko. Thanks to Mike Corston for directing today's show. Have a great day.